We've had this conversation and you seem to agree with me. But when there's complications, you withdraw and leave me to be. When there's a problem, you become like a Hey guys, get ready for some extreme decluttering and organizing. I'm gonna be spending hours completely decluttering my kitchen and my pantry. You're gonna see some huge transformations. It just feels so good to declutter and I'm gonna give you all of the decluttering motivation you need to declutter a space in your home. I'm also gonna be sharing with you guys some healthy meal prep that I've been doing lately and a protein freezer pancake recipe that even my girls loved. So let's get ready and let's do this together. Hey friends, I'm Jamie and I want to thank you for being here. I want to thank you for joining me for this part two of my kitchen decluttering. A couple of weeks ago, I did part one and here's my best suggestion when you have an area that you really need to declutter. I suggest that you break it up. Do not tell yourself you're gonna get it done all in one day because that's so overwhelming, at least for me it is. So you wanna set yourself up for success so you don't get overwhelmed, so break it up, and that's exactly what I did. So you're gonna be joining me for part two. I'm gonna be decluttering and organizing the bottom half of my kitchen cabinets and also transforming my pantry. Wait till you see how bad this pantry was it was so bad it was just it was insane so i'm going to be tackling that today as well as doing some meal prepping i've kind of been on this kick of meal prepping my lunches for the week and it's just really helped me eat healthier and um, i also made a new recipe for some freezer protein pancakes my girls have well they they've always loved pancakes but avery has been on a huge pancake kick in the morning and i found this recipe where you add some vanilla protein and some peanut butter sprinkles and other things that um, really add some bulk and nutrition to the pancakes but they still taste really good so a lot of fun in today's video and, I, and i'm going to be sharing it all with you So, you know, just another evening in our household. This is pretty typical of what our house looks like at the end of the night. Mike was at basketball with Avery. He coaches her basketball team. So it was just me and the twins. And um, when I was folding some laundry earlier upstairs, those clips had to be cut down so much because the twins are potty training. And a lot of times they're running around with, you know, not a diaper on. I mean, they had diapers on this night, but no pants. So they were like running in and out of the laundry room, which I obviously had to clip all of that out because obviously don't want to show them on the internet without pants on um, or with a diaper on. So yeah, they're doing really, really good potty training, which is exciting for us. <laughs> I get asked about these clear organizers all of the time and I will have them linked in the video's description. And by the way, the description is kind of hard to find now. You know, YouTube is always making changes. So um, there should be a little down arrow under the video. Like when you're watching my video, there should be a little down arrow, arrow on the right of the screen. And then when you click that, then you'll even see read more 
and you have to click the arrow, then read more to see the full description. So I will have those linked below. The clear containers are great. I use them in my sister-in-law's kitchen. I've used them in my bathroom and they're just awesome. But if you guys are new, if you have never been to Jamie's journey before, I want to welcome you here because, you know, you're not just a view to me. Um, you're not just a viewer watching my videos. I want to be there for you. I want to be whatever you want me to be. You know, some of you guys say you look to me as your friend. Some say you're my cleaning buddy, my cleaning companion. Um, just know that I appreciate you taking time to watch my videos. I personally know how precious time can be. My time is very precious. I have very little time to myself. So the fact that you guys spend your free time watching my videos means a lot to me. It blows my mind. And I just want to thank you for being here. I'm obviously Jamie. I'm almost 36 years old. My birthday is in March. I'll be 36, which sometimes I'm like, how old am I going to be? I, they, the numbers all start to run together these days. But I'm married to Mike and he is also 36. We have been married for almost 13 years. We have three daughters that keep us super busy. And I don't know, I feel like three kids is a lot. <laughs> At least for me, it's a lot. It's crazy. Life is crazy. But you know what? It's pretty great. And I'm just glad to have you guys here. Hopefully you'll want to come back. If you do come back, I just, you know, my goal in my ch with my channel is to create a space for you, a space where you feel like you belong. You belong to this community. Um, you know, you will always have a space here and I'm here for you guys. I've been getting a lot of messages from you guys over on Instagram, sharing the ups and the downs in your life. And if you want to share the ups with me, you want to share the downs with me, I'm always here to listen to you guys. So feel free to shoot me a message up over there and share some exciting news or the tough times. I'm always here for you guys. I was starting out like I said I was just doing the bottom half of my cabinets I did part one I did all of the top of the cabinets in the kitchen I'll have that video linked in the description um, but the bottom cabinets aren't as bad or messy as the top cabinets so I had also planned on tackling the pantry on the same day it was a very very snowy day Avery was even off of school which she's never had school called off and she's in first grade so she's never had school ca called off so we were getting a lot of snow the roads were really bad so she was off of school Mike didn't have he wasn't super busy with work so we were all kind of snowed in he was helping with the twins but you know the twins are also old enough at this point where Avery can play with them as well and um yeah so I was tackling the bottom half of the cab cabinets, a lot of crumbs, um, some really gross messes under the sink. It's been a while since I've cleaned under the sink, um, but it's getting, you know, as I'm going through and decluttering pretty much my whole home, I'm getting some ideas of what I want to do in the new home. If you guys don't know, we are currently building a home and obviously I'm not going to like worry about getting that house perfect looking or having it organized perfectly like at all or right now um but i'm just kind of taking stock of okay what works um what doesn't work as well um just to kind of have that running list for when we move All right, so let's talk the comparison game because I think this is something that happens a lot with social media, like Instagram and YouTube. Um, 
but I just want to give you another perspective that someone else gave me and it really helped me with the comparison game. So I will admit this is like a really, probably not the best example and on a much smaller scale that compared to what other people compare, but it's still, a, a hopefully it's food for thought and will help you guys in the thought process when you're comparing yourself to other people on social media. So um, I've said this before on my channel, but Avery, my six-year-old who's almost seven, her bedroom drives me crazy. I just feel like it's always messy. It's always full of junk, even though I go in once a month and declutter and get rid of stuff. I just felt like, my bat or her bedroom just doesn't look like the other kids rooms on youtube i feel like the there i mean i personally love a very clean decluttered look as you guys know you can obviously tell by my kitchen um oh and this is a wine bottle from our wedding or a champagne bottle that it was just thrown back there we actually drank that bottle on our wedding day um but anyways i would compare myself i'm like why like what are we doing wrong do we need to get rid of more in her room like i don't understand it and I talked about this in a recent video and someone was like, well, I noticed that um, the videos you're talking about, a lot of the other channels, they have a designated room, like toy room or room for the toys. And Avery has toys in her room, specifically a lot of Barbies, but it's because of the age difference between her and the twins. They're four years apart. And I mean, they're two now. So they're at a point now where we can have like those little toys around and they're not going to be sticking it in their mouths. But ever since they've been born, you know, we've had to keep a lot of her big girl toys like the toys we could not let around the twins in her room because they could not have access to it like we could not have all of the toys in the basement for example and so someone just brought that to my attention and they said that's what I noticed is it's not that their kids rooms are any different than yours it's not that you needed to clutter more it's that all of their toys and stuff seems to be more contained maybe in like a loft area and they're upstairs or maybe they have a toy room and I'm like you know what that's it so I just think sometimes we let our insecure maybe if we feel down and we compare ourselves it maybe comes from an insecurity now I'm not sitting here and saying like Avery's room is like a huge insecurity for me but it drove me crazy and it was just another way to look at it so try to look at that perspective that it's not always necessarily that you're doing something wrong or you need to do something different it could just be they're organizing in a different way and I'll speak a little bit more about this, but not necessarily that they're organizing in a different way, but there's other aspects to their life um, that you can't necessarily, it's not an equal comparison, if that makes sense. Are you ready for it? It is a mess and I cannot wait to take care of this mess. It's overwhelming, not gonna lie to you. This feels very overwhelming, but this, I have not cleaned this out in so long that I'm just itching to get our pantry back in order. So I'm feeling motivated. It looks so bad, you guys, so bad. You only call me on the weekends when you're out and about. Only chasing highs you need me. He brings me flowers on a Tuesday. He gives me good love and something that I never thought existed. I know what I need, ain't gonna lie. I know what I want, speak in my mind now. The queen is a kid to be by her side. kind of talking more about the social media comparison this is just something i wanted to bring to your attention because you know it, it could be someone maybe you're seeing someone constantly post about how great their marriage is and then maybe it gets you down because you don't have a husband that does x y and z but maybe you don't know that they've gone through some really really dark times and have worked really hard to go to therapy and work hard to get out of the low points that they were at and this is a result of that 
or even for me, you know, if you guys see, see me doing all of this cleaning. I mean, remember, I have a cleaning YouTube channel and what helps motivate me is knowing that you guys are keeping me accountable. Um, YouTube does not support our family. So, I mean, I could literally just stop posting for three months. I don't have to post. No one is forcing me to post. Nobody's telling me to clean every day while my girls go down or clean or edit while my you know twins are napping but i know that you guys i mean you know you, you guys depend on me for the cleaning motivation or the companionship when you're cleaning so i feel like i want to keep my schedule of cleaning i mean there's always cleaning to be done so like i said it actually works out because my house is always needs cleaning, but I also feel like I don't want to let you guys down as well. So I think that's just something to keep in mind too, that like you don't have to do all of this cleaning. You don't. Um, and I also want to keep things fresh with my channel. I don't want to just keep posting me cleaning the same rooms or, you know, I want to give you guys new ideas or new cleaning products to try out. So I'm always trying to think of different types of things. Um, so just another example of don't compare yourself um, because everyone's situation is completely different. Or like I, I always say, like I have a partner in my life, meaning Mike, uh, my husband, he works from home. And if you think about it, think how many times like his lunch break is spent at home folding laundry or helping take care of the twins, um, putting them down for a nap. He doesn't have to commute to work. When he goes into the office, it's a uh, half an hour drive there, half an hour drive back. So essentially by him working from home, he's getting back his lunch hour and at least a commuting time. That's two hours a day that he can spend helping me um, you know, run the household or get the kids ready for basketball or do this or do that. He's also home in the evenings. He's ho home in the um, on the weekends. And I know that's not the case for all of you guys. So just throwing that out there because social media can be so tough with the comparison game. I'm put up with changes. Come pick me up because I just want to see the light. I want to be weightless. Teach me to fly. I won't be coming down. Could somebody wake me up? I don't want to be here and let the world pass me by. Yeah. I just see her face where ever I look, she's standing in the crowd. So I like go back off. I don't want to, but I'm gonna try when she left me. Yeah, but a little bit inside, you know, you know, maybe things are gonna be. So speaking of organizing in the new home, as I'm organizing my pantry, so most of this stuff is Dollar Tree organizers. So these long skinny organizers are from the Dollar Tree and then the big baskets with holes in those, those are also from the Dollar Tree. And I've, I think I organized this pantry a couple of years ago and I'm kind of on the fence when we get our new pantry how I want to do it because on one hand I like the non-clear organizers because I know a lot of people do like the acrylic organizers and I know they're expensive they're like a lot more expensive than if you get like plastic baskets like I have here um but it depends on what it is sometimes I like it when you can see fully into an organizer so like the clear organizers and i noticed that it's when things are very uniform so i just organized some rice packets and it was all rice packets or you know because we, we eat a lot of rice we also eat a lot of mac and cheese so like when you have a lot of boxes of mac and cheese or a lot of rice bags that are all very similar then i think it looks nice when it's in the clear organizer i just want to see the What did you get? What did you get? Chocolate? You gonna have a snack? That is just a bunch of like random stuff together that I don't think would look good in a clear organizer. So I'm kind of on the fence of which route I wanna go. 
Um, and I know I'm getting ahead of myself, but just something that I thought I would add there. And um, I'm also consolidating a lot of things. Like that was another thing. There were so many things where we had multiple boxes or multiple bags open, like my athletic greens, which I was making a huge mess, which I love. I've been drinking this every morning. I love it. I love starting up my morning with my athletic greens. Um, but yeah, like I had multiple bags open. I have no idea why. So I was able to consolidate a lot of this stuff. Oh, you guys, it looks so much better. So much better. So much more room too. And this is one of my best tips to utilize space. If you have like a smaller kitchen, utilize these are a shoe organizer. Um, and you can store like all of this random stuff Number one, I like that it's on display, so when I need something specific, I know where to grab it. Um, but you can, I use this in the back door of my laundry room for cleaning supplies, but it's just great because otherwise this would be unused space. So if you have a small kitchen or just looking for, I don't know, I like my food, and I, I like my food to be on display because I like to know what I have, and then like, oh, like, okay, some cookies. Cookies sound good, I didn't know, you know. So I like my food to be on display. So this uh, that's another bonus to having one of these. I'm able to create more room. So like over here, um, Mike drinks the Slim Fast drinks, but he drinks them for, so we have like our protein drinks and protein powders. And then here, it's all of Mike's supplements for when he works out. And then I have my Verb Energy Bars and then my extra athletic greens and things like that. So I just feel like this is our supplement basket, protein basket. Um, and we have a little room to play with over here, which is you kind of nice. Now, or you call me back. Yeah, I know that. Yeah, I know that. You're the traveling kind. It's a known fact. Yeah, I know that. Mm. Once you've seen all the things, all the places, I hope it means that you come home to me. Avery did such a good job organizing her cabinet and to be completely transparent with you like I will tell you I never forced her to be on camera like I wouldn't have forced her to if she didn't want to do it I would have just left that cabinet alone and had her do it another time but I will admit that she was happy and excited to be on camera but she was not excited about organizing I think she was kind of in like a funk of it's you know a snow day we really couldn't do much we had played some games earlier in the daytime um and I just think she was just she was being lazy and you know sometimes when you get in that like that that habit of being lazy it's almost like you don't want to do anything you know um and I think that's kind of the mindset she was in but I told her that she had to do it and once she started doing it then she like loved it and then she did that cabinet and then she went upstairs in her room and she started organizing some areas in her room so I think she's like a lot of us you know we don't want to get started we don't want to get started but then once we get started it feels good and we just want to keep going I don't know that's how it is for me with cleaning it's like I just got to get started um and then it feels good to see results and then it makes me want to keep going Oh, in my videos, if you ever see just random money, like dollars laying on the floor, like there was <laughs> some money laying on the floor here a second ago, it's not real money. The girls got a cash register for Christmas and it has fake money and it looks so real. Like there's been a couple of times 
where I've seen this money laying around and I'm like, why is there money laying around? Because we don't just let dollar bills lay around. I'm like, why are there, why is there money laying around? And then I'll flip it over from the front. It looks very real. But then when you flip it over, it doesn't look as real. Um, but yes, we're, we're not just, you know, throwing money all around the house. It's from the kids cash register, exclamation mark. I'm falling behind, falling behind, I hate to separate my body and mind, my body and mind. You feel like, you feel like demons in my mind, demons, demons in my mind. You taste like, you taste like demons in my mind, demons pushing all my triggers. If you guys are new to my channel or if you missed my last video, there is still a giveaway going on. If you're watching this on Thursday the 17th or Friday the 18th, we are... I. I'm doing a giveaway. It's for my 300,000 subscriber giveaway. There will be two winners chosen and then each winner will have a choice of three options. It, I tell you in the video what the three options are, but one of the, those options is this cordless vacuum that you're seeing me use. The other option is a big upright carpet cleaner that has an attachment. And the third option is the uh, Tinco iFloor 2. It's a vacuum and mop combo and it's amazing. Like I can use it on my hardwood floors over here. Um, you can use it on a variety of floors. It doesn't just have to be um, on wood floors. Like I use it in my bathroom on ceramic tile and things like that, but it vacuums and mops at the same exact time. So you're, you're, instead of vacuuming once and then mopping, you're doing it all in one. So it's pretty cool. So I will have that video linked in the description. It has all of the details about how to enter for the giveaway. I did keep it open internationally because I love my United States viewers. I love my international viewers. Um, I never wanted to not include you, but I will say that the if an international winner wins, they do have to take the cash value of their choice. Like you still get to choose what you want, but you'd have to take the cash value just because I looked into shipping and shipping is insane. Like it's ridiculous how insane shipping is. So I hope you guys will understand. Um, but like I said, that is just going on through Friday the 18th. So if you're watching this after Friday the 18th, the giveaway is closed, but I did want to throw that out there in case you guys missed it. What are we gonna do now? We're gonna make homemade Lunchables. Yep, okay. So I got these on Amazon. I will have them linked below. I washed them last night. We dried them and now we are gonna make our Lunchables. And then I think we're gonna make some yummy pancakes that we can freeze for the mornings. Cause you eat pancakes every morning before school, huh? Yes, every single morning, but with sprinkles on. Yep. I don't eat anything else on. No, so we probably do that too, okay? So I will have these containers linked in the description. Um, 
but yeah, I was making homemade Lunchables and the girls loved it. And it all, for me, it all depends. There are some days I want like a full lunch and then other days I want more like snacky foods, like something like this. And so um, I think I'll just switch it up week by week, depending on what I'm feeling for that week. But I don't know. I just, I'm a big, like, I like picking up my clothes for the week if I have stuff to do. Like if I have to run errands or I have like doctor's appointments or if I'm going to, um, volunteer in Avery's school like if I have stuff that I need to like look presentable and not just wear leggings and a sweatshirt I like to pick those out ahead of time I just sometimes I like to be on autopilot during the week when we're busy I don't know if that sounds crazy but I don't know I just like being on autopilot sometimes and having my meals prepped is just one less thing that I have to worry or think about during the week um and then I also have talked about this before on my channel but I also have PCOS so I don't eat I don't follow a diet and when I say diet I don't mean like cutting out foods I mean just in what you consume daily I don't follow a specific diet but I do have PCOS and I know that I have helped reverse my symptoms of PCOS, polycystic ovarian syndrome, because of my healthy eating habits and my exercise. So for me, that's what motivates me to keep going is because I don't want to get to a position where I have to restrict like a certain food group, if that makes sense, period. Obviously, I understand that if you have a sensitivity or you're allergic to something, totally different. I'm not allergic or sensitive to anything that I know of. Um, but with the PCOS, I do have to watch my carbs um, and how my body processes it. And so for me, I don't limit I probably would say I limit my carbs. I eat carbs every single day. I don't count how many carbs. I just, you know, like for breakfast, I try to do more um, pro like protein, like eggs, avocado, um, protein drinks. Lunch, I try to be more carb heavy. And then my dinner, I'll do like a like lower carb if possible. But it's not like I don't eat pasta. I don't, I eat bread every single day. I love bread. Um, but I just know that my body is at its best when I don't eat a ton of carbs in every meal if that makes sense and that's due to my lovely PCOS so um some weeks there's more like this upcoming week I'm meal prepping some like burrito bowls and I'm putting in like lots of beans because I love black beans and those are beans are not low carb but they're healthy um like I don't count the amount of carbs I just you know some days I eat less carbs other days I kind of go overboard but yeah just wanted to share that You can honestly put whatever you want in these meal prep containers. I did um, deli turkey, oven roasted deli turkey from the deli. I did sugar snap peas and tomatoes. I did Triscuit, no, not Triscuits, uh, wheat thins. I gave the girls Ritz crackers and then I love almonds. So I also did a hard boiled egg. I love eggs. I, I could eat my eggs anyway, scrambled, hard boiled, poached, um, sunny side up. I love it all. Um, so that was mine. But okay, the next recipe, you guys are going to be like, how did you do this? There's not uh, really a recipe. I will put the video where I got the idea from. It's from Jordan Page. I was actually looking up breakfast meal prepping ideas and I came across this pancake one and it intrigued me because the girls have been eating, wanting pancakes every day. And more so with Avery, she eats pancakes every day, but she goes off to school and I wanted pancakes that weren't just full of carbs you know what I mean like I wanted to bulk up those pancakes and so I came across Jordan Page's video and she added in PB2 it's a powdered peanut butter we already had that on hand because we use it in our smoothies chia seeds flax seeds um just regular pancake mix and I think that was it um oh and vanilla protein powder there weren't she didn't give like how, like how much of each she put in there. She just showed everyone or herself like dumping it into a bowl. I just kind of eyeballed it. I don't think it really matters. I eyeballed it and I did a good job. So um, I will put her video down below, but I think you're just gonna have to like trial and error and see what works if you try this recipe. So I will tell 
tell you, I just gave them a try and I had Avery try them and she gave them a thumbs up and I thought they tasted pretty good. You can taste the vanilla, you can taste the peanut butter. So I think these are gonna work for us. We just went outside to play, came inside. We needed a quick and easy dinner. Then we have a Lunchable. <laughs> and Avery was so excited to dig into her homemade Lunchables. Girls, do you like them? Yeah. What's your favorite yeah. part? Um, crackers. You like the crackers? Yeah. What about you? What do you like, Addison? Grapes. You like the grapes? Yeah. What about you, Avery? I like the grapes. Okay. So we got two grapes. Girls who love the grape, other girl who loves the crackers, and the cheese is almost all gone. So I'd say so far, this is a hit. Um, thank you guys so much for being here, sticking around to the very end. I hope you enjoyed this like little meal prep that I added on. If you like seeing this type of content, let me know. It's kind of fun for me because it like pushes me to try new things. Um, and sometimes like I just film the meal prep part of the videos and I forget. Or sometimes I just do the meal prepping and I forget to actually film it. And I know that can be very interesting or motivating for you guys. So if you guys like the meal prep, let me know. Um, and I'll start doing more, especially with these containers, because the girls are loving it. I think I'll probably start doing more for me as well. So if you guys like seeing that, let me know in the comment section. Um, but thank you guys so much for sticking around. I will see you next time. Bye.